Now rule number fifth. Staggering. What does staggering mean? Uh, if you are a construction engineer, you would have heard of staggering phenomena. Uh, a site engineer, you would have heard of staggering phenomena. Staggering means alternating bars. Okay, like what does alternate means? If you are giving lap to this bar somewhere here, then to another bar, you will have to give the lap somewhere here. Okay, and now to another bar, you will have to again give the lap here. So this is what we call the staggering. Okay you cannot use more than 50% of the labs in one single zone okay one single zone means like if this is the uh, one area and this is another area then you will have to use 50% of the labs in this area and 50% of the labs in this area so this is what we call the staggering why do we do it the reason is because lab is a weak zone this is a real fact that a lap, lapping is a weak zone so you will have to alternate it so that one single area may not get weakened and that is why we use the staggering phenomena in drafts in slabs and columns and in beams even somewhere if we have uh, higher uh, width beams okay so uh, this is what we call the staggering phenomena you have to follow the staggering phenomena as well okay now uh, I am using again and again this symbol N. Okay, this is a symbol for you can juggle. We call it juggle. Okay. Now I am using this. I will. Okay, this juggling is allowed for columns. Okay, but in lapping zone, not everywhere. Okay, so in lapping zone, this juggle is allowed. And what will be the length of this juggle? This is an important question. What will be the length of this juggle? So the length of this juggle will be 6D. Okay, 6D means 6 multiplied by the diameter of this bar. Okay, so this juggle is allowed for lapping and its length will be 6 multiplied by diameter of this bar. So uh, this was one another uh, point. The number sixth point is the juggle length juggle length now the last one the seventh rule is the concrete core okay the concrete core of these bars if you are using columns this is let's suppose a column and these are the bars coming from the top this cover and this cover shall be equal the equal cover we know the importance of concrete cover okay i have uh, explained this concrete cover in a video you can uh, watch that video uh, but we all know the importance of concrete cover this concrete cover is not just for the a phenomena of rusting the most uh, the more importance is during the concrete bonding process uh, that has been explained in this video but i will just tell you that this concrete cover is very much important and it must be equal on both sides okay so you will have to place the bars in such a phenomena that concrete cover at both these sides are equal uh, normally it is taken as so equal core is importance on both sides so that uh, this reinforcement and this reinforcement might get the equal stress during the loading phenomena so uh, these were some basic rules and now uh, one another rule i would like to explain number eight rules that is the bending process here you can see that they have made a bend so how would they normally the uh, steel labor makes this bend use if, if it is a, a bar of 8 mm they would go for the mechanical heaters and using those heaters they will make the spin this is a very wrong phenomena you will have to do this process using the uh, bending machines not all the things like if you are using heat 
for this purpose then it will make it hardened and if it is hardened you know that elasticity is lost and uh, uh, the failure may occur because of no elasticity in columns so you will have to use the uh, concrete bending uh, sorry the steel bending machines for this process so this was all about the columns uh, the how that how we will make the lapping zones in columns and how we will have to give the laps to any column i hope we would have learned something and uh, inshallah we will be talking about any important phenomena in our upcoming lecture be with us thank you very much allah face